All right, Lumberjack here again. Guess what? I finally got it working. This, here's the shitty thing that Tony doesn't tell you, is there's two files when they release an update. One is the update itself, and the other is the firmware. It's it, firmware file. And when you swap out hard drives, you need the firmware file, not the update file. Which, you know, why couldn't you just tell me that from the start, Sony? You know, when you give me that stupid error message, you could, you know, make it nice simpler by just saying you need to please download the firmware file. Ugh. But yeah, I finally got it working. And I have installed all of those games onto the system and installed and downloaded. I, I, I've had this thing on since like five o'clock last night just downloading updates and and look at this yeah you are seeing that correctly that's everything all the applications installed on the system with the updates 560 gigabytes yeah And I put my save data back on from from that. So yeah. Wow, that was a process I don't want to go through again. But but yeah, I have I have everything installed on here again. See, Zen Pinball, Head to Fate, Mad Max, The Crew, The Golf Club, Grand Theft Auto Five. Witcher 3, MLB 15, Assassin's Creed, Rock Band 4, MDS 5, Ground Zeroes, Ratchet and Clank, MDS 5, The Phantom Pain, Rory McIlroy, PJ Tour, Dragon Age Inquisition, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, NBA 2K16, and be the show 16. Uh, okay, there's the test screen unity. But yeah, 560 gigabytes after all that. And look at that. The, the applications plus the save data together is almost the... is almost half. Well, oh well. Everything's working. This is fine now. <laughs> and, uh, stay tuned because later today, I might do some New York Mets franchise mode. I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do because I need to figure out my schedule for the day. But, yeah. All right. I'll see you later.